I want us to say this pandemic will come to an end. Do I say the disease will completely vanish and then it's no longer there? Yes, I, I know. It will completely vanish. But when will it completely vanish? At the timing of God. It will completely vanish. At least in the new heavens and in the new earth, we know there will be no sicknesses. We, can't even, we don't even need to talk about COVID-19. There will be no sicknesses. So at the right timing of God, this disease will be under control. Before the end of this year, even for me to talk about the end of this year, just a few months from now, so many medicines will be controlling this sickness. We know there is a vaccine which is being rolled out. But here I'm talking about medicines this year. Just wait a few months. Four, five months, six months, seven months. You see the medicines that will be introduced to control COVID. This is scary COVID. A person will be critical. Within two, three days, they will be back home moving. Being able to move on their own without any assistance. Because God... I am now prophesying. God has released the knowledge to say I've heard your prayers. I've heard your thanksgiving. When we are going through a problem which in the past 100 years all the generations that lived between 1919 and 2020, they never experienced that. But you are a generation that I permitted to experience that. And uh, some of you, you were found to be having a weight in their inner man. Because you were praising me when you didn't know how this pandemic will come to an end. So God has released the knowledge in the scientific and medical community. From now onwards, now that we are releasing the word, from now onwards you will see the kind of inventions that they would introduce. Medical inventions. They will introduce a lot of medical inventions. Therapeutics which will control the sickness, which will arrest the sickness, which when used either for preventive purposes or for curative purposes, it, they will completely eradicate the sickness. And people we will be asking ourselves, why was it that millions of people had to die of this sickness? It's a sign. God says, you know, before Jesus Christ returns with the kingdom of heaven, there will be pestilences. So it had to happen as a sign. Because our, our medical science cannot stop divine signs. Our medical science cannot stop the word of God from being fulfilled. But the spirit of God is speaking even right now. That God has released anointed knowledge. I'm not talking about small knowledge. Anointed knowledge of even, of even fumigating blessings to eliminate the sickness. It will be so much under control that... Uh, pretty soon the disease will be under control. I, I, I changed certain words that I wanted to say. The disease will be very much under control. Just watch if within the next seven to nine months the therapeutics that will be released says the spirit of God. And at the same time God is saying when you begin to, to praise and worship me, I'm referring to the church now. I've also released an anointing within the church to pray for people and they will speedily recover. He's saying, don't look at how big the sickness is. Look at how great I am seated on my throne. Arrayed with glory. Seated on my throne which is releasing pearls of thunder. And releasing lightning and, and voices. Lightnings, not just lightning. Lightnings and voices. The Spirit of God says, when you meditate on how great I am, not on how great your problem is, I will release an anointing, which will cause you, even if they tell you the person is terminal, and their level of oxygen is 45 or 40, I will release an anointing, which will cause you, when you project the words, I will release a healing, says the Spirit of God. When you project words, I will release what? Healing. In the church, God is saying, I've released a healing anointing. 
in the scientific community god says i have released anointed knowledge which will cause them to invent medicines which have got relatively few side effects which will cause this disease to be arrested so what is that to worry about what is in control we should praise and worship him